An important component of sound design is gaining an understanding of how harmonics and overtones work. So for an example, let's take a look at two common orchestral instruments, the clarinet from the woodwind family and the trumpet from the brass family, and take a look at how they differ in harmonic content. First, here's a clarinet played at, playing an A440. Now if I freeze that there, we can take a look at the fundamental frequency very clearly coming through at 440 hertz. We also can see the 880 hertz, the 1320, and so on. So the fundamental 440 hertz times 1, times 2, times 3, times 4, times 5. Very predictable pattern here, all working to reinforce this fundamental A440 pitch. It's only when these uh, overtones end up being slightly off or very off from that mathematical uh, relationship do we start losing a sense of a pitch center and we have what are more characterized as overtones and not harmonics. In the case of harmonics this would be called the fundamental or harmonic 1, harmonic 2, harmonic 3, harmonic 4, etc. We could also call these overtones, they are harmonic overtones, and in this case we have the fundamental the first overtone, the second overtone, the third overtone, etc. Another characteristic to pay attention to here with the clarinet, even though all of the harmonics that we would predict are present, we do notice that rather than a, a smooth attenuation that we might expect, we notice that the second harmonic or the first overtone drops down a little bit and then the third harmonic, which should be a bit lower, actually pops up again and we have kind of a uh, back and forth a little bit here where uh, the odd harmonics, uh, somewhat like a, a square wave, tend to have a little bit more emphasis, at least early on, than do the even harmonics. And that's a characteristic of a cylindrical shaped instrument like a clarinet. By contrast, uh, a conical shaped instrument like a tr trumpet is gonna have a lot more intensity in all of the harmonics and a more even distribution of each of the harmonics in the series. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so a very similar pattern in terms of having the 440 hertz, 880, 1320, and so on, but there's much greater intensity with the overtones, particularly in this area where you see that the harmonics are much more intense compared to what we saw with the clarinet. So this is typical of, as I say, a conical shaped instrument like a trombone, meaning that where the mouthpiece is is the smallest diameter of the, um, of the horn. And as you get out towards the bell, it flares out further and further, uh, creating more of a density of uh, overtones, giving that bright quality that we expect from brass instruments.